What's going on guys, this is Derek with Southern Style Lawn Care here and today we're going to give you a little tutorial on how to change your edger blade. This is an edger blade that is way too far gone. You do not want to let your edger blade get that low. I run mine without the wheel sometimes, just basically freehand it so I can allow it to do that. Uh, first thing first, I'm going to go over the two, what you're going to need. You're going to need for this is an Echo PE225, great machine pick it up at Home Depot. It'll do anything I need it to do. It's probably doing anything you need it to do. Uh, looking for one with more power, but just haven't, you know, this one hasn't gave me any problems, so I'm not going to get rid of it yet. But anyway, back to the video. I'm going to make this short and sweet, and uh, I'm not going to play any music or edit it, so it might not be a fun video, but it'll definitely get the job done. Um, you're going to need an 18 millimeter socket. You're going to need a, any kind of screwdriver, something like that. You're going to need one of these blades. Now, I buy my blades on eBay just simply for the fact that I get them for about 50 cents a blade. And these are, you know, Oregon blades, which are great. And you go to Home Depot and buy the Echo blades. You know, they're around $10 for two blades. And as much as we use them, you know, if you're a homeowner, that's not bad, $10 for two blades. But as much as we go through them, you know, this is probably two days use of blades. And you can see how much more is on there I mean that's that's a lot deeper than I usually let them get but anyway I'm gonna show you how to install them and that's it these are two types of blades this is your flat blade this is what I recommend I tried these gator blades out so I don't really see you know the upside of these blades i mean they, they dig a deeper wider trench well not deeper but wider trench which i don't like i like mine to be right up on the curb now these are okay for you know edging out bed lines and stuff like that they work good for that but if you do use this blade you know you, this is the edge you're going to put on this way so that the blade spins that way you want this to contact first and this to be behind so the blade you want to spin like that you don't want to put these on that way or you're going to have a problem all right, we're going to put this blade on, flat blade, get it ready for tomorrow. And I just figured I'd give you guys a tutorial. That way, y'all know how to do it. So, let's get on it. Hole right there. See that hole? It lines up. You can stick a screwdriver in there. Hold on. You can stick a screwdriver in there like so. It keeps that blade from rotating. And that's going to help you out when you're taking this blade off. I usually just use my hand, but uh, if you can't do that, uh, use a screwdriver, which I'll use today. And right here is going to be where you take it loose. All right, this is going to be it. This is going to be different than your normal boat. bolt. You're going to do it right to uh, loosen it and left to tighten it. So you want to... All right, and that's loose. Take a screwdriver out now. Like I said, it's righty, loosey, lefty, tighty, which is normally not right. I'm going to take this piece off. Take your old blade off. Start with it. You want to leave that on. See, this had some wire up in there. You want to check that every now and then to make sure there's nothing in there. So there usually is. Probably just some grass. Stick that back on. This blade can go either way. This is just a flat blade. You want to put this back on, start going to the left, get it going with your hand, put your socket on there, you're going to turn it left as well, which is weird because normally right tightens and left loosens, but on these edger blades they're totally different. I just use my hand, a lot of people get them way tighter than that, but you snug it up like that and you're ready to go. There's also a hole right here for a cotter pin which I do not use, it kind of gets in the way. I know it's for safety, but uh, you know, it's spinning this way, so it's just gonna do nothing but tighten itself. And that's it, and that's how you change an edger blade. But we appreciate y'all watching, like, subscribe, and uh, let us know if y'all wanna see any other tutorials or future videos, thank y'all. What's going on guys, Derek with Southern Style Land. Yeah. 